to uh, Pastor Ronnie T. Mitchell, who is the pastor of New Livingstone uh, Church in East Nashville. And of course, Pastor, before we had our first commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about the uh, stimulus plan. And yes, sir. Of course, uh, uh, from what I know, the money has already been awarded to the state of Tennessee. And That's so right. what you're about to tell us is that you've got a plan right. that will allow you, you and others to have access to some of this money. Let's talk exactly. about it. Exactly. And thank you, Doc. And I, I appreciate your emphasis on others because the last thing we want to do is make it appear mm -hmm. that this is a me, myself, and, okay, and our program. Mm -hmm. The benefits uh, for our community are so far reaching mm -hmm. that again, once anyone looks and sees what it is that we want to do, mm -hmm. I'm sure that they'll be willing to sign on to, to mm -hmm. provide us with help and mm -hmm. to help us get help. Good. Uh, again, uh, the Poverty Symposium uh, innovation and we've come up with a innovative program. Mm -hmm. It is the reschool, retool mm -hmm. economic stimulus program. Mm -hmm. It is directly attached to and associated mm -hmm. with and needs the to be the recipient of funds from mm -hmm. the Economic Recovery Act mm -hmm. passed by uh, new elect President mm -hmm. Obama. Okay. And uh, we are proud of his election and we are proud of this country mm -hmm. for being able to move mm -hmm. from the doldrums of the past mm -hmm. and to be able to look and reach and grab mm -hmm. a bright future. Very good. We believe that we have an obligation personally to help him and to help this country good. to right the ship Mm -hmm. and to bring us back to the America, Dr. Haney, that mm -hmm. I know you and I have lived in Very good. before. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the Reschool Retool Economic Stimulus Program, mm -hmm. and we will do that by engaging in economic and environmental stabilization okay. through community restoration. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, I made it horizontal, okay. economic, Mm. and in environmental stabilization mm -hmm. and community restoration. restoration. I make the sign of the cross mm -hmm. because the cross is indicative of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Not just forgiveness asked for, mm -hmm. but forgiveness having received. Very good. And so we are saying to those out there that no matter what you've done, uh, many of us now, because of this economic downturn, mm -hmm. realize that there are a lot of games that we played, mm -hmm. a lot of choices that we made, mm -hmm. a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. that we've engaged in. Good. What it's going to take now is for each of us to look past our differences, mm -hmm. to work in common harmony All right. on a common problem. Mm -hmm. And we believe that this Reschool Retool Economic Stimulus Program, mm -hmm. whereby we engage in mm -hmm. economic and environmental stabilization mm -hmm. through community restoration, can improve living conditions and living standards mm -hmm. for so many members of mm -hmm. our community. Mm -hmm. who because of budget priority mm -hmm. and public policy of the past, mm -hmm. continue to face devastating challenges mm -hmm. on a daily basis mm -hmm. and are confronted with debilitating mm -hmm. issues that just ruin their lives. Mm -hmm. And so through this program, we intend to participate in the stimulus money that the federal government has stint, sent to the state of Tennessee. All right. Tennessee received $4.5 billion dollars mm -hmm to be spread out across the state going to different municipalities All right. and it goes down to the local municipalities and eventually to the people and to do good in the community. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is this, the short range, the mid range and the long range benefits of our program mm -hmm. are such that everyone will be able to measure it over a three year 36 okay. month period mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to see that it can be measured and that it can be managed mm -hmm. and that the benefit far outweigh the cost mm -hmm. and the risk. Mm -hmm. The short range benefit is that the children are getting ready to get out of school. All right. We've got to move now. That's right. And a lot of programs that they normally in the past could go into mm -hmm. are not going to be there. All right. A lot of the jobs that they normally could access are not going to be there mm -hmm. because adults whose jobs have been downsized and outsourced good. Oh. have those jobs. Very good. We must move now mm -hmm. to engage in training our men and women, our boys and girls, mm -hmm to retrofit buildings mm -hmm. with energy efficient roofs, mm -hmm. lights, and windows. Mm -hmm. We can expand that to include traffic lights, stop signs, mm -hmm. stop lights, uh, billboards. Mm -hmm. The amount of work is endless. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason, Dr. Haney, that we're with you here today mm -hmm. to say to any that will hear us, mm -hmm. to not take advantage Okay of this opportunity mm -hmm. at this time mm -hmm. with so much money being available to All where right. you don't have to worry about a budget mm -hmm. 
and with the volume of work, work that being so be plentiful that can be sustained over a period of time, mm -hmm. it would be grave, a grave error mm -hmm. for us to not take advantage of an opportunity mm -hmm. to make sure that job training mm -hmm. and workforce development is weaved and woven into mm -hmm. all of the work mm -hmm. that will be done. Okay. Our program, mm -hmm. Economic and Environmental Stabilization mm -hmm. through Community Restoration, mm -hmm involves us being able to train not just young people okay. but our veterans mm -hmm. returning home from war everybody who's members on the street, of the uh -huh. homeless uh -huh. community Good. folk that have just fallen on bad times mm -hmm. we can train them and again the short range benefit is that we can put the kids to school that are getting out of school we can put them to work immediately okay. whatever mm -hmm. labor laws that we can comply with mm -hmm. meaning what age they would start mm -hmm. We'd like to start them at 16, but that may be too young. But surely the 18-year-old that have uh, graduated from high school mm -hmm. and is not going to college, all that idle time, mm -hmm. we're saying we believe that we can attract them to this program to where we will put skills in their possessions okay. that mimic our brothers and sisters of the Jewish community. Mm -hmm. They believe, their philosophy is, mm -hmm. that if they will expose their young people at okay. an early age mm -hmm. to some kind of craft, mm -hmm. trade, or skill, that it will in turn increase their chance of success mm -hmm. and advancement in life. Mm -hmm. We want to mimic that because mm -hmm. it's a success that mm -hmm. works for a people, All right. not just for an individual. Mm -hmm. So the short term effect mm -hmm. is we can put the kids getting out of school to work now. The mid range benefit is that the convention center that we're getting ready to build All right, downtown, go on. Uh -huh. and the accompanying hotel All right. is going to amount to one billion dollars okay. in jobs, mm -hmm. a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. We can train through this reschool, re uh, mm -hmm. retrofit program, we can begin to recruit and reintroduce mm -hmm. members of the minority community to the construction industry, mm -hmm. to where they can go on and learn how to do this work that's going to be at the convention mm -hmm. center. There are a lot of minorities that do construction work, mm -hmm. but they don't do the type of work mm -hmm. that's going to be going on at, at the, the convention, convention center. center. And so they have to be retrained re and, re and retooled. Re and that's what you're planning and on that's doing what we're with doing. And yes, of course, sir. we're getting ready for our second commercial well, let me break. Get, here, and right? the long range mm -hmm. benefit mm -hmm. is that we're talking about jobs that are going to be around for the next 50 years. Okay, and so we're going to talk about that when we All come right. back after All this. Right. Uh, and we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very a uh, short uh, commercial break. We're talking about President.